and welcome to Colonial News. My name is Henry Danner. With the upcoming election, we have interviewed many Federalists and Republicans to get their opinion on the two political parties and their candidates. Let's hear from our reporter, James Smith. So, Mr. Harrison, I hear that you are a Republican. Why do you support their ideas? Well, I am a small farmer, so I feel that the Republicans, like Thomas Jefferson and James Madison, will better support my career. I do not wish to support the British, like the Federalists, because they are exactly who we won our independence from. The Republicans support the French, who, I believe, have better political strategies than the British. As well as this, I think that ordinary people, like me, should have a sane government. The Federalists want a strong federal government run by the wealthy. I would much prefer a government run by everyone, including farmers like me. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. I hope to speak to you again. Back to you, Mr. Tanner. Next, we will speak to Alexander Hamilton, who is one of the leaders of the Federalist Party. Hello, Mr. Hamilton. Would you like to tell me your ideas about a national bank? The expediency of exercising a particular power, at a particular time, must indeed depend on circumstances, but the constitutional right of exercising it must be uniform and invariable, the same today as tomorrow. So, in other words, you believe that implied powers that are not expressly written in the Constitution justify the right to create a national bank? Yes, exactly. Thank you, Mr. Hamilton. Now, we will speak to James Madison, one of the leaders of the Republican Party. Hello. Mr. Madison, what is your opinion on America having political parties? The public good is disregarded in the conflicts of rival parties, and measures are too often decided, not according to the rules of justice and the rights of the minor party, but by the superior force of an interested and overbearing majority. Thank you. Now, we will talk to a sailor about his political ideas. Hello, Mr. Williams. Tell me about your political ideas. I agree with a lot of Federalist opinions. The Federalists support a nation that is mostly centered around manufacturing. Because I am a sailor, an economy based on manufacturing would greatly benefit my career. Also, I think that implied powers would justify the creation of a national bank. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Finally, we will speak to President George Washington about his opinion on political parties. Hello, President Washington. What do you think about American political parties? Let me warn you in the most solemn manner against the baneful effects of the spirit of party. Thank you, President. As you can see, many different people have very different political opinions. Some support the Federalists, and some support the Republicans. Federalists, like Alexander Hamilton, favor a strong central government with a national bank. They are often supported by manufacturers and shippers because of their belief that the United States should have an economy that is based on mostly manufacturing. Republicans, like Thomas Jefferson, support an economy that is based solely on agriculture. For this reason, Republicans are often supported by farmers and artisans. The Republicans believe in a very strict interpretation of the Constitution. So they do not think that the creation of a national bank is justified by implied powers. Also, the Republicans believe that everyone should have a part in government, not just the wealthy, like the Federalists believe. In the election, John Adams and Thomas Pinckney, who are Federalists, will run against Thomas Jefferson and Aaron Burr, who are Republicans. See you at the election.